uh, passive shield boost, shield hardener, civilian EM the activation cost. All right, so those are active. Shield extenders, medium, medium shield extender. This is passive. Shield hit point bonus. All right. It increases maximum strength of the, of the shield. Signature radius, although it makes you easier to uh, to target. Shield extender, shield booster is active. Capacity activation cost, you have to activate it. Shield booster, shield extender, shield resistance. EM ward amplifier, this is passive. So what I can do is buy like, uh, are they not, not available? Why are they not available? <laughs> They're also quite expensive too. <laughs> Explosive. Oh man. They're not available. Or well, someone's selling shield flux coils. What is a shield flux coil? Shield hit point bonus negative. Recharge rates increase. Hit points bonus decrease. Okay, well. I see. Well, recharge is faster. Shield power relay is capacitor recharge reduced recharge rate bonus. I uh, okay. Shield recharges smart bomb shields. I guess I don't really need shields. The potion, hull, and armor. Fleet assistance, engineering equipment, capacitor batteries gives you more. Uh, it gives you more capacitor. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, increase capacitor storage. Capacitor booster. Increases, all right. Injection of power into the gun. That's not what I want. Energy neutralizer. Oh, it uh, it's attacking other people. This is stealing other people's energy. Remote capacitor, auxiliary, uh, auxiliary power core increases your power on your ship. Which we can't fit those anyway. Power diagnostic rate control. Electronics and sensors. CPU upgrade. Cloaking devices, which we can't use. Passive targeting tractor beams. Huh. Allows target lock without alerting the ship to a possible threat. That's pretty funny. Passive targeting, remote sensor booster, electronic warfare, which we're not gonna. I guess I'm just gonna pick up the. Um, and no guns? No guns, I guess. Alright, let's just go pick some of this stuff up. Enough missing around here. But, now that our. 28. 17, oh wait a minute, oh no that's not this, uh, 15, I can actually fit everything in here? Holy crap, we can make it in one go, <laughs> we can make it in one go. Alright, I forgot about that, alright cool. So we can literally carry everything with us. Because we can upgrade the capacity of the ship. So we're just gonna carry everything with us. Faint scoped warp disruptor. I'm not gonna warp disrupt anyone. I hope I don't get attacked. It'd be pretty sad if I. Combat shield recharger. Let me just fit some of this stuff on. 
improves recharge rate of the shield. Alright, let me just put that on. Uh, what is this? Ship scanner. Say stasis web of fire. We don't want those. Limited thermal dissipation, but this you have to activate it. Small shield boost is not going to help us all that much. Cold gas enduring micro warp drive. Let's just put that on. Although that doesn't help us, uh, help us very much because it's actually not big enough to do anything. Uh, overdrive injector system. Makes you faster but reduces your cargo capacity. I don't know if we put guns on or not. It seems kind of pointless to put guns on here. Just put <laughs> civilian captain gun. <laughs> it's, it's not gonna do anything. It's uh it's not really gonna do anything. Um I mean I mean, there's no harm in putting that on either, I guess. Wait, what? Okay, good. Alright, so let's go pick up some of these other things. Personal assets. Three jumps. Set destination. Alright, let's go. Well, this is it. We've, we're carrying everything we own with us. If we get blown up, we lose everything. So don't tell anyone that I'm doing this, alright? There's someone else in the same ship? A similar ship. Is that an NPC or is that... No, that's another player, isn't it? Alright, well, I'm not the only one doing this sort of shenanigans. Because there's someone else right there, that guy. <laughs> it takes forever. Maybe I should try this. To see if we can, like, speed up our acceleration next time. I forgot about these things, yeah. So you can, like, double your cargo capacity, pretty much. We've, no, we've more than doubled. We've like tripled, haven't we? Because I was expecting to, to have to go for three trips. Well, but then each trip was only like 5,000 out of the 7,300 cubic meters. Hey, we're carrying everything with us. Isn't this fun? Alright, so we're gonna jump and then do that. I think that actually is faster. Hold on, should we time this? I think that actually makes it faster. So that was the weight using this trick, right? And that's a that's a five mega newton micro op drive. It's not even a, a fifty uh, mega newton. I mean, All right, so here we're gonna not do this, and we'll see how long this warp takes when I'm not not doing this trick. Warp drive active. That is slower, right? It's not just me, that is actually slower. 
Well, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not slower. What was that? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's a planet. Scared the crap out of me. This is a giant red ball in space. That's a planet. There's a thing called an interdiction bubble. Let me just look that up. Eve interdiction bubble. Alright, we're gonna try the trick and see if that's faster. I think it is. I think that is faster. Interdiction bubble images. So it looked vaguely similar as that planet, but it's not red. So inter interdiction bubble is blue. Bluish, whitish, greenish. Whereas the planet was red. It scared the crap out of me. <laughs> An interdiction bubble basically... Uh, it stop I think it stops you from warping away. Oh, actually, I think it just... If you warp through it, I think it catches you as well. It just kind of kills your warp and you can't escape. Alright, so here we are. What did we buy here? Item hanger. <laughs> I don't Should we sell these? Hold on. Sell, sell this item. We don't want this stuff. Expanded cargo. Alright, we're just going to sell them. Yeah, I know. I know I wasted money. I know. I know. And then we... Uh, not you. And then assets. Personal assets. And then we go... That's us. That's where we're going. Alright, set destination. Oh man, we have to go to a 0 0.5 security area. Uh, alright. Uh, jump. No, don't look at. Jump. And yeah, we're gonna use that trick again. Uh, what? I didn't turn it off. Okay, <laughs> we failed. Uh, we failed that because I forgot to turn off this. But I think we can confirm there that it actually is faster because if you don't turn it off, it takes you a little longer to, to get up to speed. In fact, it takes you a lot longer to get up to speed. Which confirms that yeah, you should turn it on and then turn it off, and that's the fastest way to get into warp. I forgot about these. There's so much stuff to remember, by the way, in this game. Like, I mean, I've, I've, you've seen it already, like, there's so much stuff in the market and all of it is relevant, right? There's no such thing as an irrelevant item in the market. So this max velocity, 149.18. I think the afterburner is going to be better. I should check the bigger micro warp drive just to double check that I can't use it. Uh, ship equipment, propulsion, uh, micro warp drive, the 50 one. 150. Power grid does not have enough remaining power to fit this module. 150 power. 
And I only have 96 to begin with. But there are things we can do to... Like, make your power grid bigger. Capacitor batteries? Medium? Increases capacity, uh, not not capacity, a power grid. Um, reactor control unit. Drive active. Uh, boost power core output, but it uses low slots, so we can't use it. Power grid bonus ten percent, and even if we, if we buy this one. Power grid bonus 12%. 12% of 96 is like 120, and 12% again, let's say 140. If we put two of them in, it's 140. Propulsion, micro warp drive. It's still not enough for this, so it's not really worthwhile, right? The 50 mega newton. Micro warp drive, and we can't really put it on this ship. Although well, this one, 100, 135. But again, we still Docking have to lose. Requested. We still have to lose some serious um, storage capacity to put those in. Okay, so now we are here. And now, item hanger fit to active ship and now the ship looks like that maximum velocity 149 187 yeah so this is this is better than that let me just unfit that and then put that there shield booster we don't really need it um let me just item hanger, repackage this, put that in our cargo. Alright, so now we are moving over to our new home at ESA. So that's going to be our clone and that's going to be our home, right? Set destination, let's just go straight there. 0 0.5, 0 0.5. We're, we're staying in high sec. Alright. We're carrying everything with us. If we get blown up, we lose everything. <laughs> we don't lose our money, of course. We lose all our assets. So we do that, we do that, and then we do that. And then we should start warping straight away. Wait, why are we so slow? The warping... We should be there, we should be gone already. Not sure what that's about. So we were still turning. Okay, I guess we were still aligning. Wow, this trick is really good. <laughs> this trick makes us really fast. 